Now, the setting of this book is very clear. We do know that the setting was during the time when Israel had disobeyed God and God had taken Nebuchadnezzar, who was a good king, very well characterized, good personality, very intelligent, very shrewd, and a statesman of his time. And God says, the Bible says God took Nebuchadnezzar, used him as his instrument to bring Israel into captivity in Babylon. And we can read that in Daniel chapter 1, verse 1. So we do know that God used a, a heathen king to bring his children to captivity that he may reveal the prophecies of the end time. And he did not reveal all of these prophecies to Daniel, but some of them were revealed through a heathen king. There are Adventists who think that they own all the truth. Hello, somebody? The book of Daniel defies that. The book of Daniel shows us that God can use anybody to, to preach his message. Even Jesus said, if you don't preach about me, these rocks shall cry out. Amen? So we see Nebuchadnezzar being used as a servant of God. And the very first major vision was given to Nebuchadnezzar. Amen, somebody? God cannot be monopolized by Adventists. In fact, let me be, let me be broad enough. Maybe you may think I'm hitting Adventists too much. Jesus was not a Christian. I'm knocking your, your nuts off now. Amen? Your, your pillars are like, Elder, why are you saying Jesus was not a Christian? Jesus was a savior of the whole world. Hindus, Arabs, Muslims, you name them by their different vocations, Jesus is their savior too. Amen, somebody? Amen. We do not own him. And so those who will be saved, if you come to the book of Revelation chapter 7, I love that bit because it says, when John was called up to see those who are saved, he began by seeing the 24 elders. And when they worshipped God, they said, Great thou art because you have redeemed us from all nations in the world. Amen? That's Revelation 4 and 5. But John says that's a small number for those redeemed. But when you get to chapter 7, the Bible says, ah, God is going to seal 144,000. Still, that's a tight number. Not only the 144 will be saved. Until John was shown the great multitude that no man could number. Standing on the sea of glass, with wide robes, no fashions those days. One dress, it's white, it fits all of us. No forchinis, no Gucci's, nothing. Just one white robe for all of us. Multitudes, millions saved. So Jesus is not a Christian. He is the savior of the whole world. And through you and I, he wants to reach the whole world. So he used Nebuchadnezzar, a heathen king. 